So guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to build an engine as I showed in my last video. So first you're going to want to do a 3 by whatever that is. Right. Yeah, 3 by 4. Right, it's supposed to be 3 by 5, I think. Uh, okay. And then to build the engine, you're going to want to place a block here. A, ro a rotor, and then another block, then another rotor. Then, what you're going to want to do is do this, this, then, you want to do this. But then, most importantly, you're going to want to get your pipes. Because that's basically a whole part of it. Oh, screw this. Just going to, any ads, I'm just going to edit out. I don't get demonetized for this. Then you do this. Then add another block. Then another block. Then another block. Then another block. And then boom, you got your main part of your engine. The rest of it should be really simple if you're smart. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your curve pieces or well, edge. Then what do you do? <sighs> Forget what I did last time. Then you're going to want to go do this. I'm just trying to remember what I did. feeling I'm doing you know just forget about like this just just have it wide open just screw that block up if you want you can probably do something dumb with it maybe like that which kind of makes sense though so th then you do this Like that, and then you have something similar to this. Okay. This is a whole different engine than I built in my last video, though. Then what you're going to want to do is, um, where is it? Get your engine and a switch. And also, you're going to want to get a driver's seat. And what you're going to do is place the driver's seat somewhere. Place three engines. And I'm going to move my seat closer. So what I'm going to do with my seat is get it right, uh, right there. Then, right behind this block, you're going to want to place your switch. Then... Attach your switch to an engine and set up that, that engine to five. Then attach that to your first bearing. Then another engine, you're going to want to have six level 16. I wouldn't really do a 16 until you've got like a full on vehicle added onto it. And then you're gonna, the other engine would be for the wheels, but since we don't have any wheels, um, you're gonna leave that engine away for now, okay? Or you could use these engines, I'm not sure if that would work. And then you're gonna wanna take, um, where is it? I have a bad feeling I screwed this up big time. You're gonna wanna get these blocks. I'll pause the video. Okay, unpause. There we go. And what you're going to do is do this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I screwed the engine up really bad. No, never mind. Just don't do that, dude. That. 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 Wait, no. Yeah, that. 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 
And if you want lights, you would have to do that. But since I'm not putting lights on this, I don't need that. What I'm going to do, well, it this one, this part this way. Just, it looks so it looks better. If you hear TV going on, that is my grandparents' TV. They listen, They watch TV every single day at home while they're, when they're not working. Then you're only gonna want to get this pipe, that pipe, and that pipe. Then what you're gonna want to do? Right, dang. This rid of that. Get that. No, I said that. And you're gonna want to do this. Not sure if this is gonna work. This is going to be a V8 engine. You do not have to have these many pipes. You can make a V4 engine. Doesn't matter to me. Do whatever that crap you want. I'm not in control. You Then you're going to want to place a block here. Place a block here. And then what you're going to want to do is do that. So I do that. This is going to be like a gigantic exhaust manifold. Well, that's what it is. But instead of your standard three exhaust manifold for like a V6, it's going to be a gigantic exhaust manifold. It's going to look like that. Then you're going to want to do that on the other side. Like that. That. That and that, then that, then that, and then that. And with my other build, I will put a four way pipe up here. Where's four way pipe? No, that's a six way. Four way pipe. And then get ready your three way pipe. Then place your four way. Dang it. And it's. Care back. That is over. Okay, and then you're going to want to place your four-way pipe like that, and then this pipe like that, then your straight pipe like that, then this side, you're going to want to do that, 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 then if you're going to have a frame, which I'm going to do now. You're going to want to do that, that, then you're going to want to do this. You're going to, which I did it with this part with a block, like a block at that center because I made a um, very weird thing. And then you're going to want to break this pipe right here. I mean this block right here. So then you can get this under, as shown here. Then you can get to this. Then you're going to want to get rid of your four-way pipe and get your three-way pipe. And then you're going to want to do place your three-way pipe. Right now. Brought break. Then you're going to place your three-way pipe like that. That pipe like that that pipe like that that and then that you don't necessarily have to make it stick out but I made it stick out this time <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm making um, a car like a big beefy car with this but you wouldn't want that pipe section right here that long if you're gonna put a seat in and then what you're gonna want to do but as I said don't don't have this as long as I have it you might like want to like just put your corner right after you put the four-way or have a pipe and then the corner. Depends on what you want to do. And then since you have all this, then what you're going to do is get your connection tool out. No, no, it's connection tool. That adds. And then what you're going to do is attach um, your um button to that engine, as I said before, I think I did. And then connect that to that and then you're gonna want to do this 
Dang, not like that. Not like that at all. I'm going to place it like that, but I'm going to break this because it's kind of in the way. And then you have the front. Oh, wait. I'm going to make this even because it's going to annoy me. And then you're left where like this, but it kind of looks like a plane. But it's not. My other engine didn't look like this. This is a modified version. And when you press the switch, it's gonna have that idling. And whenever you accelerate, that should start to go faster, like an actual radiator would, a radiator fan. And then if you take the button off, you oh, dang ads, ads. And then guys. To attach, if you want to attach lights onto it, what you're going to want to do is, at this point, you're going to want to do that, then place your light, wait, I'm going to, what else was I going to do? Then you're going to want the timer, and do your light thing on both sides, but you don't have to, but that's kind of common sense. You may think it's going to hit it, it's not, it may get stopped, so if you really want to, you can pop it out one. And then what you're going to want to do is, right at your switch compartment, you're going to want to set up timers. I've learned that if you use more than one timer, it works so much better, actually. And then you're going to want to set connect them together, and then you're going on the first timer, set to 7. Or you can have any set time, but I'm going to go with 3. Better the different set time, kind of the better it is. And you're gonna want your other timer to be at least one, and then you're gonna set your lights up to it. It kind of makes it like a short stall. And if you want, you can flick on the switch on and off to kind of make it blink and make a really cool effect. Like you have an almost broken vehicle. Like I'll show you. And then you're going to see that the lights are going to do that. Just wait. And then you accelerate up. It spins faster. You go reverse. It goes reverse. Just slower. And then you go forward. And then boom, you got an engine technically. Well, but that's going to end it for this video, folks. But as I said, that's all, folks. Bye-bye. Wait, can I get hit by this? I need to test this before the video. I, I, I completely end the video. I'll go check out my other video. Oh, I feel like I got thrown a little bit. Oh, if you guys want me to make a sawmill, let me know. This guy weighs a ton of kit. For the finale of the video, you all know I have to do it. I have to. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Boosh. I didn't get this mod for no reason. I had a reason. Definitely had a reason. I like destruction. And then put a switch here. Mm, that's gonna end for this video, folks. Bye. Yeah, wait. Destruction. You know, I'm gonna rev up the engine and let it go and see how long it lasts and see how tough I build my engines.
Wait, did it finally kick out? Ooh, wait, ooh, light flashed. I think it finally kicked out. Oh, I think it because it destroyed the engine. Yeah. It's acting like there's still an engine there. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, wait, wrong thing.